hi my name is Juliet and welcome to my space if you are new here welcome to my channel on my channel I discuss with you spirituality mental health topics lifestyle fun stuff all kinds of stuff actually in this video I wanted to talk to you about worthiness why we might feel unworthy how we can stop it how we can feel worthy again before i jump into it i also have some affirmations for you in order to claim your or reclaim your worthiness so we start with a very simple affirmation and it says i am worthy in my life i have dealt with a lot of feelings of feeling unworthy i was bullied as a kid a lot because I used to weigh more than I do now so I used to be a little bit fatter and a little bit bigger and when people bullied me with that I became I became I became I became really closed off and quiet and had a lot of feelings of unworthiness so m many feelings and so many intense feelings of unworthiness actually that I still feel them today and i believe that that's the reason why i have never had a romantic relationship no because how can you feel worthy or feel loved by someone when you don't even love yourself and that's the biggest cliche that that is that is out there but i believe it's also one of the biggest reasons that people don't fall in love or they don't go after the job that they want <clears throat> they don't do the things that they really want to do in life because they don't feel worthy as a human being or as a person or as some as someone. They don't feel like an individual and they don't feel like they can express themselves how they really want to express themselves. Selves. <laughs> I have felt that in my life a lot and um, this is only the first year that I'm really moving out of that. Which I am really lucky that I am and that I am doing that. Um, but in order to get there, like there's a lot of a lot of shadow work and a lot of confrontation and a lot of fears that you have to face within yourself that are all saying that you are unworthy. I mean, your mind is like this big computer that has layers and layers of information and the more you find out about a topic, this being worthiness, the deeper you go and the more you realize, wow, I really fucking hate myself. Like sometimes that's the truth. and. Um, that's a truth that you have to face and you have to feel and it's something that you do not have to solve because once you face a feeling I talk about this a lot in my course too. Uh, I talk a lot about the ego Which is coming online on Sunday actually the course and the website. So stay tuned But the ego is in place and the ego um, <clears throat> The one who's feeding you all of these lies that you are unworthy um, through the subconscious mind so the subconscious mind absorbs everything then the ego translates those feelings or things basically into into thoughts and they make you feel unworthy uh, as if you accept them and identify with them as as being true once you don't identify with them anymore and you start to just feel them and they pass eventually because feelings pass, it makes room for clarity. And it also, um, wh when you become the observer, it also creates this sort of uh, helicopter view or bird's eye view over things. You get to really see what kind of beliefs are there and what kind of beliefs you have had and you have actually you are identifying with. So that's really it's it's really tricky because feeling worthy or feeling unworthy really is something that is this belief is it is you you know is your being i am worthy it it's a belief that can branch out into every single topic of your life because you can feel worthy of everything or, or worthy of nothing so the second affirmation is i am worthy of success now, success in itself is something that is should also be seen as really subjective you know for someone success could be writing a book and for someone else it could be becoming a millionaire and living the high life so success is subjective success or to get to success well there are a lot of beliefs of oh you have to work hard for your success if you believe that that's fine um but there are also beliefs of I get success or I achieve success if I do what I love. Once you do what you love, you can achieve success. That's my belief. So let's just go with that. <laughs> but in order to actually take the step and take the leap 
to do what you, what you love, you have to feel worthy of your success. If you do not, I don't think that someone will get there. Someone will actually take the step in order to do what they love, in order to achieve big success, which also takes me to the next affirmation. I am worthy of dreaming big. <sighs> I always say to people, if it's not scary, you're not dreaming big enough. Attaining a job with a lot of perks can be seen as success and a good salary. It can be seen as success. But once you have that job, you have the money, you have the perks, it most of the time becomes comfortable and then it becomes boring. And then you're back to square one. Yes, you have more money, you might have bought a house. Yes, you are secure, you are safe. But are you happy? Are you dreaming big enough? Do you feel worthy of dreaming big enough? Do you feel worthy of taking risks in your life and trusting yourself? Because worthy, feeling worthy is not just feeling worthy, it's also trusting yourself. It is trusting yourself with the biggest thing that could lead to success. The biggest thing that your, heart's, that your heart desires. The biggest thing that could lead to happiness. But if you do not feel worthy, how could you get there? And the last thing is, I am worthy for of all of the money in the world. Because a lot of people believe that there is this pot of money that is shared by everyone, but this pot has an end, you know? This pot ends, so not everyone gets to be rich because that's just for the rich people. Well, guess what? Those rich people were once just like you, you know? They, they didn't get the better half of the pot of money. Abundance is shared, abundance is never ending. If you believe it is never ending, argue me on that. But I will argue you that maybe what I believe is in your advantage, you know? Because what I believe actually says to you, you could have all of the money in the world because guess what, you're worthy of it. But most of us don't feel worthy of that because we believe that, well, we're not dreaming big enough, we're not worthy of success, so how could we be worthy of money? Money in itself is this big thing that has a lot of limiting beliefs by a lot of people because it is seen as success. But as I said, success is subjective and everybody is worthy of their own success, whatever that might entail for you. Now, where I tell you why we're worthy, it's because it's in this last affirmation. I am. We are worthy of all of the things that I have just mentioned and all the affirmations that I have just mentioned, but we are worthy of it because of one thing, the I am, the I amness, being, we're all the same. What if I told you that without any of those pre-mentioned things, you're still worthy? Because as people, as humans, we tend to measure our worth by what we have. But by doing that, we also create circumstantial worthiness, circumstantial happiness. If I achieve this thing, I can be happy. If I am secure, I can be happy. If I am self-employed, I can be happy. But what if you just stopped here? If I am, I am, I am. That's the only thing that makes you worthy. It's because you are. It's because we're all am. We all are. We are not worthy because of having a good body, because of having a lot of money, having a great career, being successful in a certain field. We're not worthy because of all of those things. We are worthy because we are. Treat yourself like you would treat your best friend, who you still love with or without a successful job or a lot of money, because you know who they are. You love the person that they are because they just are. And be, as the T quote said, be consistently constant and constantly consistent. Keep reminding yourself of that I amness of being, of that's the, the only thing that you need to have in order to feel worthy. And I can promise you that there's a lot more to this. And if you want to know uh, a lot more about this and the, uh, the, the, the designated chakras or that um, really are activated when you feel worthy. You could watch Aaron Dowdy because he has a lot of videos on being worthy and separating yourself from your surroundings. And he can tell it a lot better than I can. But once you feel worthy and you can really feel those three first chakras, so the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and the solar plexus chakra, 
you feel empowered in who you are and you do not rely your worth on outer things and outer circumstances you get to be really happy and all of those outer circumstances will come to you and that's the beautiful paradox of this life is that if you don't need anything it will come so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video